Hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome back to Hacknet where we are just owning NTech. <laughs> uh, so last time I found this single workstation that I was able to get into, got me some really interesting IP addresses and a password for I'm not sure what yet. Um, but before I go and connect to that, um, I think uh, we see, we've got no logs left there, so that's, that's fine. The rest of these are just all inviability. Well, so let's go ahead and check out. So we got the NTech external contractor relay. That one's inviable. The web server I have owned. I, I mean that one. Uh, Zeus makes me nervous. So let's check out the mail server. Um, so what if I say login? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I would. Failed. Okay, so. We probe this sucker. Nope, no luck there. Um, so what was this guy? Wow, did that take away? Yeah, dang. So even though I can get into this one, I can't stay in it. All right, dang it. Um, I wish I'd saved the dude's name, but I, it's probably, I don't have his web, his email password anyway. Zeus is inviable. It's crazy. Okay, so I got the single. So the rest of these are all just nothing. Red herrings, essentially. Um, so let's check out this Prometheus that I got the password for. Connect 1561.1.1. Inviability, of course can't scan can I log in uh, was it D G yeah I can't friggin remember okay I'm back so I went and just quick glanced at my last video <laughs> to get his name lame name is Jorioni password is D 88 B A N N X failed. Okay, one last thing it says he's doing this because of a medical condition, because of a pacemaker. So, could I? I'm guessing his login username would be first initial last name. His first initial was not on that his his computer anywhere that I could find. However, I do have Universal Medical that I could check. So perhaps. We can go in here and find him just to get his first name, just to find out who the hell he is. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, overload, overload. Okay, there's no trace, good. Um, is this Medicaid, I think? Yep, excellent. All right, so we're just gonna wait for the proxy thing to go. And we need four. So let's do, I guess we'll do the top four. There we go. And then we want web on 80. We wanna close these guys out. We wanna do SQL on 1433. Pretty soon. There we go. Oh man, those just fit. <laughs> I didn't know if they would. Let's go, go, go. Unlock that one and unlock that one and hack in. I might have forgotten to. Uh... Oh, no, I don't think I did forget. Anyway. So, now that I'm in, can I database search? I want to find Jorioni. Jorioni Joseph. Uh, cute case of angina. Oh, that reminds me of uh, Big Pharma. <laughs> 
After it was regulating monitor, can alert him when SpO2 is low. There's not a pacemaker, so I can't kill him. <laughs> Joseph Giorioni. All right. Here it is. Okay. So if login, I say J Giorioni. Password D88 V A N N X. Failed. All right. I don't know. I, I give up. Um. Let's check out Romulus is the other one then. Connect 156.151.1.12. Boom, Romulus, also inviable. All right. Well, I feel like I was pretty dang thorough. So let's go see here, okay. Ping me back when you think you've seen as much as you can. Be thorough. Oh my gosh, my alert's going off here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's as much as I can see. Uh, we've got Prometheus, Zeus. All of these are nothing. I've got something on Prometheus, but I don't know what. And I mean, what? Can I try just like, what if I do admin? <laughs> Just real quick, D88, B A N X. Oh my God, it was successful. <laughs> I'm so glad I tried that. <laughs> oh, that's so great, admin. I'm glad I thought of that. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Bin, log, home, store, NSEC project. Hacknet project. Oh god. Okay. NSEC inviability project. It's OS level security layer th through which all authentication attempts and admin commands pass that provides a uniquely protective level of security for systems against all conventional and many unconventional penetration and security breaching methods. Aims to be completely transparent to end users, except in the case of emergency updates, which are maintained by NTech Incorporated on a subscription basis, of course. Provide absolute security to sensitive and confidential systems. Paired with the HackNet project, which seeks to demonstrate the flaws in current security systems, NSEC shows clearly why it should and will be the new accepted minimum standard of true digital security and confidence. NSEC, the freedom you want, the security you deserve. Okay. So, um, NSEC core. I feel like I might want to go ahead and grab that. It sounds pretty pretty amazing if I could somehow have that. Okay, HackNet project. Okay, uh, so HackNet project command connect for use as a wrapper over remote connection channels. Use the SSH to combine connection methods to external services. The command should scan available ports and supported services to find a valid connection method, then use it wrapping output to emulate a standardized connection. In effect, HackNet's connection method should appear to be universal and standardized when beneath it is it is capable of using all common and some common connection methods to user services on almost anything. Okay, that sounds like what I'm using here. Test guide. Aside from connecting between workstations and the company host servers, we also need to support connecting to wireless and restricted OS devices. Mm-hmm. Our test plan includes connection services to several mobile devices. These devices are synced to the Prometheus server by support staff. And if you need one for testing, reviewing physical output, you should be able to connect from anywhere. Contact the server team. All right. Synced devices. Okay. Mobile and wireless devices used in testing HackNet's connection module are to be synced to this server, including all EOS devices. We'll occasionally wipe them all just in case, and it's best to do it right from here. Do not pair them with other machines. The devices scatter around desks a lot as people work with them, but if they run out of power, need a wipe, or a sink again, always do it to Prometheus. HackNet Project Contacts. Given the sensitive nature of the HackNet project and the strictness of the NDA everyone involved is under, inquiries, feature change requests, and other management discussions should go through the HackNet Management Mail Relay, HN Manager, at ntech.com. This was sent out 
to all valid personnel, some of whom can contact you personally back if it's relative, relevant to their field. Okay, I don't feel like that's really too valuable. Hacknet core at DLL. Hacknet net core. Should I grab that? I feel like I might. Hacknet net core at DLL. We'll just take it just just in case, just to be safe. Ish. Okay, no sign of us there. Let's scan before I forget. All right, that just found the mail server. No big deal. Um, so, I'm the administrator of the system. Man, that's great. I can't believe I found that out. Okay, um, the logs. Yeah, disconnect. Okay, let's see what this email is. It's killing me here. Bit propagation. I didn't even reply to him. Okay, are you seeing this network? Yes, I am, V. There's that new security scattered about on almost everything, but I'm picking my way through it. There are still a few holes, but progress is slow. I've attached the IP of what I'm looking into now. From the side I'm coming at it from, I can't see any cracks in it yet. Are you having any luck? If you find its admin pass, reply to this email with it. I get the feeling that serves the key to where Bit fits into all this. The talk of this HackNet project showing up is kind of worrying too. Have you ever heard of that? A whole OS, OS rewrite? Hmm, have I heard of that? <laughs> we can look into that later. For now, see if you can find a way into this relay. We'll work out our next step after that. I'd probably look around their production and store servers, Prometheus and Romulus, etc. A way in might be anywhere, though. Good luck, V. Okay. If you find its admin pass, he wants for the contract server? Oh god, I don't know about that. Production and store service. So actually, if Prometheus was the production one, um, where here Romulus? Romulus might have the same admin password. Honestly, it shouldn't. Clearly, you know, for any kind of level of security, but, um. Okay, so Hacknet project. That's hilarious. It's like, yeah, actually. I aren't I using aren't I on Hacknet? Isn't that like what I've been using this whole absolutely this whole time? As far as I know, anyway. Um so let's real quick Chop down any logs on any computers. Get rid of all these shell overloads. No one was here. The Milberg High IT office <laughs> did not, did not go anywhere. Uh, CSEC gauntlet, not such a beer. All right, so Romulus. Let's check this out, admin. And D eight eight V A N N X. No, it's not the same. Okay. So Prometheus, log in. Boop, thank you. Okay. Logs. Don't want you to know that I'm admin. Uh, okay, home. Let's take a look through all these. These might be slightly more interesting. Um well, let's clean up. Let's go see if the same password works on the external contract relay server. I don't know. That seems really unlikely. Um, but, you know, admin D88VANNX. Nope. Yeah, I, I don't know. So, anyway, that's been long enough. Me digging around, not finding a heck of a lot. I'm pretty sure this PC I'm done with. I think I'm done with all those workstation ones. Can I log into this? No. Dang you. Um, so thanks everybody for watching. I hope you're still enjoying Hacknet. Uh, next time when we come back, I'm gonna be finding out where I'm supposed to go next. Hopefully uh, I'll figure out what I need to do to get into this external contractor relay server. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully that'll, that'll be the key. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next episode.